Now, we know that incontinence can affect women throughout mm. their life. Yeah. And we talked yeah. in the last episode specifically about pregnancy and, and after childbirth. Mm-hmm. What is the connection here between that and menopause specifically? Well, the problem is with reaching menopause and the perimenopause is when we lose oestrogen, that affects the pelvic floor, the large muscle that runs right under the undercarriage between the pubic bone and the tail, mm-hmm. tailbone. And that supports all our pelvic uh, organs, the vagina, the bladder. Um, and when we lose oestrogen, these organs are have oestrogen receptors all over. And it's incredibly important oestrogen in that area because it helps the strength of the muscles, the collagen input, the lining of the vagina, uh, the strength of the muscles, the tone of the muscles. So losing oestrogen, which is what happens in the perimenopause and the menopause, um, causes a weakness in in this area. Isn't that fascinating? So should women be seeing bladder weakness just as a normal sign of ageing? Or is it something that... uh, No, I mean, it it happens with age, but it's not normal. Um, We we (laughs) We don't need to just put up with it. We don't need to put up with it. We must not put up with it because it's so Mm. easy to treat in many cases for many women. It's fairly simple things like... Uh, pelvic floor exercises from a good pelvic floor physiotherapist Mm -hmm. some local oestrogen can really help the majority Mm. of women so if we start using vaginal oestrogen and doing our pelvic floor exercises Mm. how Mm. long roughly would you say we can expect to see a difference well I I think for a straightforward case within three months Mm -hmm. you should notice some difference um, and quite dramatic differences it does depend on the individual and the underlying cause for example if they have a chronic cough or if, if someone's uh, carrying a bit too much weight, mm. that will fight against the, the, the pelvic floor um, yeah. rehabilitation and the oestrogen. Yeah. So it does. T- it d- is about uh, you know d- individual cases, but often within three months you can see. Really. It. See so in terms of stress incontinence, mm. within you know yeah. what we're saying, twelve weeks using yes. the localized oestrogen the and doing your pelvic yes. floor exercises together. Yes. Yes, you you're going to difference. get a dramatic difference, yes. and, and you may not yeah. then be. I've seen, I've seen within three months, some people have got much better from that. But the key is, some people just do pelvic floor exercises, or some people just give oestrogen on its own. It's the things together. That's right. that's the important thing is, is, right. is using both together, um, yeah. because that will will speed things up and, and getting into the mm. habit. Yeah, exactly. 